said, he 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 Gotta be somewhat liberal. No. 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 I'm. I'm left wing. Liberals are not left wing. Liberals are fucking centrists who want to protect the status quo. Well, I don't identify with most liberals. I don't identify with any liberals. Yeah. And men do suck. I you know. should get rid of that question mark. be a Christmas song just based on cheerfulness alone, right? Alright, we're going to do a Christmas tune for you next. A tune that I think uh, you probably know well called God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. Actually, it's God Rest Ye Merry, um, Gentlemen, which no one knows. But that's what it is. Except how many of you have heard it before as a samba? So, dance along with us a little bit here as we get ready to do a little God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen.
So by fighting for 15, you're making the results of everything you're fighting against more hard. Okay, I got it. I'm trying to follow what the point is here. What's your point? I don't think you're trying to follow Jack shit. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, too bad, you choked me. We've got what you call beef now, on account of you choking me with full force, with intent to kill, and the only reason you released your grasp was someone cracking you upside your head. Remember that? That's why my finger's broken, from trying to break your grip. But I couldn't, so kudos to you. And it was after you went on a tirade about women having inferior upper body strength to men. And then you showed your superior upper body strength, right? By trying to choke me out. By defending myself against a weaker oh, person. Oh, between, oh, your little fucking flag. Oh, I took your tiny little fucking flag. You initiated force. Ah, you are a clown. Yes. Hey, you're the you funny someone one. Reported that. So there are 3.5 million homeless in the United States. I think that number is probably low. What defines a homeless person? No, I know. I'm homeless. Are you? I live on their road, but I'm still homeless. I'm sorry for that. I'm a Native American. How long have you been homeless for? It's not better. You were homeless since before you were born. Well, then what hope is there? You seem like a new hope. We change the system, no, because otherwise. I don't know, man. I don't mean to sound like a genocide, but you are. Six years. Six years of my life. Six years of the past eight years. We're paying a lot of the time more than two jobs at home. In Portland here? Not, not in Portland specifically. Where, where have you found yourself your homeless? California. Uh, and then uh, because that wasn't working out for you, you came up here to Portland then? Yeah, well actually I came up here to Portland more to join the activist community because there's more activists. But it's, it was also better, but they kind of that. That's, that's why, why it's not the massive hope, working homeless population like in California. In California, there's massive amounts of working homeless because they don't stand up enough for their rights. Have you thought for a second that maybe you're homeless because you're gravitating towards the activist community? That is not the case. Um, Do you have a skill? What's that? Do you have a skill? A what? Do you have a skill? What's your job? What do you normally do? I work in the fields. I also work in warehouses. And I've worked, I've spent many years working in the fields by day and in a warehouse by night, having only a few hours of sleep at night. Okay. And okay. often by, what's that? Okay. Okay. Flour, bark, meat, lettuce. It's hard work. Okay, yeah. in the sun. Not easy. Yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, immigrants uh, do that work, don't they? Yes, yes, yes. I detect a little bit of an accent. Are you from uh, originally another country? Uh, well, my mother grew up as a missionary kid in Papua New Guinea. My grandfather was a missionary in Papua New Guinea, and my mother grew up. Uh, my mother was born in Michigan, grew up in Papua New Guinea, very here as a teenager. Well, that says a, a lot about how bad it's been in the past. It doesn't say that it's actually good right now. Um, any unemployment is a problem. And Cuba, there's no one. There's no unemployment. There's no one's homeless in Cuba. No one Where? goes hungry in Cuba. Cuba. And there isn't any unemployment. Everyone Cuba? has jobs in Cuba. And we need a system where everyone has jobs. We need a system where the working class, uh, where people who are working are not in the streets. I'm not going hungry. 
you said your example was Cuba? Yeah. Communist Cuba? Yeah. How's that working out for the Cuban people? It's working out quite good. And here, here in the U.S., 120 million working class people and their children go to bed hungry every night. Two million working homeless, including a lot of chronic working homeless. In Cuba, there isn't any working homeless. No one goes to bed hungry. That's because uh, everybody gets paid Cuba, the same twenty-seven dollars a month. Jobs. Everybody gets paid the same twenty-seven dollars a month. That's why they're not hungry, but they're certainly not happy because they haven't allowed freedom. The to... people in Cuba are happy. I actually know a lot of Cubans really? myself. Is and that they why? Are happy. Is that why they make treacherous journeys over the ocean to come here? Well, um, a few people who basically are, are part of a rich and don't want to that that I want to basically be able to take advantage of others, push others down in order to make money as office church people uh, will come over here. But the ma vast majority are staying there. Actually in Colombia, there's like Columbia. 12 million people have fled Colombia because of its capitalist system. That, that has not happened in Cuba. The media will, the corporate media will play up anyone who basically leaves an equal system. But anyone that leaves because of massive inequality and starvation, the media will have a complete blackout and won't even mention it. Are you all trying to co co op the civic nationalist movement for communism? Yes, I can answer that. We're asking for, <laughs> we're asking for wages high enough that the working class can eat and stay I mean, out. You know the Yellow Vest for a right civic now, nationalist movement, right? Right now, there's Right now, the richest one percent have seventeen trillion dollars, while two million people, working class people, are, two million, there's two million working homeless, one hundred and twenty million uh, working class people, and the children of right, other right. people. Who work you understand in, what happens? Uh, go to bed hungry every night. I was standing right next to Jesse Sponberg when he shut down the ports, Terminal Six, uh, during Occupy Portland. Then that eventually that movement ends up leading to the ports closing, ends up leading to a shitload of great paying jobs, trucker jobs, longshoremen, etc. being pretty much abolished because Hamgen pulled out. Leads to a ton of people that can't afford their rent, yes, leads to hopelessness. But, uh, that that then you know offer what? socialism to slightly decrease the their only way rate has ever bought uh, ever stayed up with through protests and unions and when that, that when Reagan made it harder to protest and harder to have unions wages stopped going up with inflation and the inflation was started being much faster than the wages and increased inequality the reason you guys are against it is you don't want equality. Don't so tell us what we're for against, please. Like don't we don't tell us what we're for against. I'm a here, we brother. can change this and we will be here. Shut the fuck up. What are you here for then? If it's not conversation, what are you here for? What are you here for? Are you trying what are to you here for? My finger is still broken. I'm always here for conversation. I'm always you here for discussion. I'm, I'm here for debate. No, I heard yellow vests are here came and a bunch of fucking commies are here. Now they're pretending like they want to work. They don't want to work. I have a job. All I worked have jobs. literally 14 hours yesterday. I'm not lying. Good. Good for you. Well, you're acting like it's something to herald you above somebody else. Do you, do you have a job? Yes. What is it? Why yeah. will we tell you where the fuck we work? You go no, to no, assault no, no, us? I'm not asking where you work. I ain't telling you where I work. Okay, want. exactly. What do you do? You said you wanted to be part of the activist community. Artist. You said you were unemployed. And this guy said he's been I'm unemployed. Unemployed artist. Yeah. So the fuck I have my you own know what systems of oppression are? If your art is good going? enough, then you're surviving, right? This is yeah. not a meritocracy, yeah. though. What is it? What's the issue? This what? My issue is that yes, it is. That's what capitalism is. It's a result of freedom. No, capitalism is whether a rich, lazy office chair class worth millions of dollars while the working class starve in the street. I've been working two jobs the majority of the past eight years and homeless the majority of that time. That is sentence doesn't make any sense. Yes, I've been homeless the that. majority of the past eight, working homeless the majority of the past eight exactly. years, Just working two jobs the majority of that time, a hundred no, 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 plus no, no, hours no, no, a week. Like, I'm not about that. You're houseless. Where are you from? You have a home. You don't sound like you're from here. I, I'm homeless, and I've been homeless six of the past eight years, 
working homeless six for the past eight years. Excuse me. Y'all just got my hopes up. I thought the actual yellow vests were around and I come find it's a bunch of yeah, there's, there's What do you think about the, uh, the yellow vest movement in France? And I, the I real total civic nationalist movement. You, you see, they're raising their country's flag. They're protesting like the United Nations the overtake of all the countries. I heard the generals are going to try at Macron for treason now. And Macron's throwing on a yellow vest to try to seem like is he's he part really? of the pro party. Oh. Yeah, I just did that The yesterday. irony is thick. But, yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, well. I don't think if there was a yellow vest movement, it would start in Portland. No shit, it didn't uh, start, you dipshit. It's already been happening. Good. Could you I'm kindly fuck off? I'm working on building a working guillotine to bring to the Capitol. I think we might have a uh, difference of opinion on who will end up writing that. Well, freedom. Freedom. Damn shame. Always goes to freedom. That constitution. That just sounds like it is. It's the Bill of Rights. It's the thing that guarantees our freedom. It's the Why thing that fights against fascism. Running these guys off the corner. Freedom? The people of this country. A bunch of slaveholders fucking wrote that. The Fuck white, off kindly, The people of this country are free because okay, of that document. So I got no you're, problem with you. I've against... known him for years. My finger's broken because he me. tried to choke my ass. You don't know me at all. I don't talk to pigs, so he didn't get arrested. He was sweating. You know they were talking to you. You, you initiated force. Bullshit. I touched your tiny little flag, sir. That's initiated force. Because... Difference of opinion, you rank property above people. Says who? Says you? Your actions over the past three-ish years that I've seen you. Well, property is, property is an extension of personhood. To you. No, to the Constitution. This is a difference of opinion. To the Constitution. The laws of this As country As I are said, birth. I give no fucks about what a bunch of slaveholders wrote. That's my opinion. Hey, I'm not opinion. telling you to put down your Bible, put down your Constitution. I'm telling you, don't fucking choke me out, yeah, asshole. I'm telling you, don't initiate force against me, and I won't have to defend myself. So, wait, you're, are you against the Fifth this Amendment man. for protection? No, there are good things carried out like by the Constitution. There are noble aims. I'm saying something being sourced from the Constitution is not alone enough to validate it for me. Such as Wikipedia could be a starting point for research, it's not a source. It is a source. No, it's not. If you go to a college course, it is not a valid source, actually. Directly contrary to what the yellow vest movement started I think I stated my stuff as succinctly as possible. Now, I have to go to work. If you don't, if you you not have a yellow vest Do some physical labor for probably over 12 hours. I am, but I'm not putting Enjoy yourself. in the standing solidarity with a bunch of communists. Why don't you just get out of it, at least? I am part of the movement. You're not part of the movement. You're pretending to be part of a it's movement because you see something bigger than yourself. They're not smart it's enough to come up with anything on their own, so they have to steal everybody else's good ideas. Yeah, but where does it start? Where does what start? Where does it start? With the conversation with us. If nobody doesn't do nothing, then where does it start? I mean, Are you we gonna got start some it? Problems. Okay, so, so where does it so totally start? around with So let starts with ideas. It starts with the ideas. So let's so the right smart has decimated the union. I'm a smart person. I'm a I am a smart person i am a smart person i am what are you trying to prove? What are you trying to prove, man? What are you trying to prove? I'm not the one out here with the sign. I don't need to prove nothing. Well then why are you standing aside wearing a sign? Well on communism, it just I don't need to be I don't need to prove that I'm smart as you. I don't think it care. It doesn't matter. All I'm doing is question the sign that you're holding. I want to learn more about what brings you out today, except the only thing I can do is read. What brings me out is that people, what brings me out is that a lot of people don't do nothing about all the corruption, about all the capitalism, about all the thievery. Well, corruption and capitalism are two totally different things. Yeah, but still, it, it's a bunch of thievery to me. So if anybody's going against the thievery, I'll go against it. So you're a victim. It doesn't matter if I am or not. Well, you're, it's still a bunch of thievery. So conquered. When you say conquering my country, that means you came over here and stole it. It wasn't a country. So if anything's going to go against that, then I'll be part of it. The land of Native America wasn't a country before it was settled. It doesn't matter if it was a country or not. It was something that we owned. We were here. Define ownership. I, I didn't think, they, I didn't think Native Americans believed in the, the idea of ownership. Yeah, you're part of the thievery, though. That's what you're trying to oh, say. 
That's what you're trying to what, say. What, what have I stolen? That's what you're trying to say. You're, you're accusing me of stealing something? Yeah. What did I steal? Yeah, everything you got belongs to us. Oh, so I should just get everything, everything I have? Everything you got belongs to us, man. Well, here, have my bike then. If it's yours, message. take it. Thank you. Don't come back for it either. You're not taking my bike. <laughs> But my point is not. It's, it, you're proving my point. You gave it back because you know it's mine. I didn't steal it. I've earned this. No, Just like I, I wouldn't take I your bet. I thought you would have tried for it. Well, I'll get the bike back one way or the other. I promise you that. Oh, uh, yeah? My problem is I don't understand what you guys are here for. You got a problem with evil? I'm just asking about your sign. So you're and you're saying that I'm a thief. Am I a thief? What would I do about it? I don't initiate force, but I can defend myself. If you get your police, you can... If you don't break the law, you have nothing to fear from the police. That's why you write the laws to protect yourself. No. You write the laws to protect everybody. Well, you protect yourself with it. That's what you do. That's you stand around like you're brave or something. Like I'm brave? You're brave because you got your cops standing around watching. No, I'm brave because I'm not afraid. From everywhere. I'm brave because I'm not afraid. Why are you hiding your medals then? You want to see them? Put them out, man. Show who you are. This is who I am. Yeah. Show. That now we show them, man. Don't hide them around. I, I am me. I'm an amalgamation of all my experiences, suit? as you are. You're hiding around under that suit, man. I'm not hiding. I'm standing in full front. No mask. Open conversation. We're going to expose my ideas to yours. I'm not afraid. The police. They think that I should be afraid of you guys. Really? They asked why. They said how. How are they letting you get so close to them? I said why would they, why would that matter? Because they don't like you. Is a person defined by who they don't like? I don't think so. I just think it's me that you got a problem with. I'm, I'm sorry to hear you. You got a problem with me, don't you? I have no problem with you. I got a problem with bad ideas. Good for you. I'm full blooded American. Well, you, you're it's not a from here, nation. Though. It was colonizers, and they fucking stole it and genocided it and broke trees and stole it from the native people. So it's not your country. What I'm a white person people. too. It's not my country. Right, I'm willing to discuss, discuss anyone any one of those points. I'm willing to discuss any one of those points. There's there's nothing to discuss. If it's stolen and genocided and ripped from people, if I steal your okay, bike from people, there's three things you, there. That's not legitimate either. If I take your shit, it's yeah, not legitimate. No, it's a violation of property. It's taken. Violation of property. So it's not your country. It's not mine either. Don't don't walk around with such a sense of entitlement. You go around and steal everything, then try to make money off of it. Like what? Everything. Trees, water, everything. Yeah. Uh, all, all the kind of people like you that want to do all that. Like me. All that. What do you mean like me? It's natural resources. We've we finally yeah, established natural. energy well, independence. From? From so we don't have to go to wars to kill yeah, brown all people in Arab are, countries. All the it's not a good thing. This is a people. good thing. All the natives end up being the poorest people on the whole continent because of all that. You because think that's the, the cause? Capitalism. You think that's the cause? What? 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 What's the cause of that? You the thievery. The thievery. Coming the over thievery. here and stealing my country. Yeah, I disagree that's the cause the of it. I disagree with the, the premise the that land was stolen if it was not owned. Your ancestors stole it. My ancestors? Yeah, where you come from? Where did I come from? This yeah. country. I was born here. Just like you. Native Americans believe that nobody could own the land. Oh, every time your capital is on something, I think it's taking it from people that are homeless. Taking it from people that are homeless. Yeah, that I, does. Sentence doesn't make sense. Fake. On the land. Oh. That was written in a book, written by a white man. That's that's one of those books that they, they use to make themselves feel better about the being guilty about what was going on. You're killing millions and millions of Native Americans. Yeah, now they write those books up for so you guys can read them, and then you won't feel so guilty about what you did, what's going on. What still. did I do? How My great grandfather immigrated from Poland when we needed jobs. Still. 
You can't feel guilty it's over something you had no part on. of. It's still going on. Look it up. How? Where? In your books. Where what you books? What books? Show me the book. Tell me the title. Who said, oh, look, uh, come on. We've got a library over there. I think right. you gotta go we'll to a communist bookstore for these books. Ah, son of Hightower. We'll sit around over there. I notice you're not wearing a yellow vest this time. time. I don't have a yellow vest, it's an orange vest. I'm I'm for it. It. I was gonna say, they go off the movement. <laughs> That's an orange one. That's a good friend of mine. How are you doing, buddy? Pretty good. How are Dude, no trip. What? You're gonna get that sign broken. If you fuck with me.
Our government directly funds the wars in Central, South America, North America, the Middle East, and Africa. The rich is responsible for the blood of billions. They profit off our blood.
Keith Ledger can laugh better than me.
working their ass every day uh, for us. So I think that's fun.